Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Hey there, Dead Cells fans. It's been a while. So here we are. After seven years of updates, we arrive at our final major patch for Dead Cells. Update 35, the end is near. In this patch, you'll find a bunch of additions, including curses, weapons, mutagens, and more. Let's start with the three new weapons. Introducing the Anathema, Indulgence, and Misericord. Three tools at your disposal all centered around the new curse mechanic. Three new enemies to tackle head-on. The Sore Loser, Doombringer, and Cursor. Another trio of additions to stand in your way. New legendary affixes, giving you more ways to tailor your build and bring utter carnage to your foes. Make your way over to the Tailor's Daughter to find over 40 new heads to customize your prisoner. Finally, we have the Cursed Biomes, a new way to play which adds the enemies we mentioned before, along with improved rewards for tackling this new challenge. Dead Cells has been an incredible journey for us all, and we know it's a game that means the world to a lot of our community. And for players to still be enjoying it almost a decade later, invokes a feeling we can't even put into words. It all started back in 2017, when Dead Cells first became playable for fans on PC. We launched 1.0 in 2018 on PC and consoles. Added a bunch of new content in our first major DLC, Rise of the Giants, including a proper ending to the game, and the iconic giant. Then our friends at Evil Empire joined the adventure, working on smaller updates before branching out on the bad seed where things got a little wild. Players then fell prey to deadly pits and traps in Fatal Falls, and to appease everyone that hates their thumbs, we released Dead Cells on mobile. But things didn't end there. We decided to bring some friends along for the ride with Everyone Is Here. We angered the Queen and her guardians in Queen and the Sea. Decided bosses needed defeating on repeat with the boss rush update. And came to the conclusion that we wanted more friends to join the party. In Everyone Is Here, Volume 2. We decided that Dracula needed dealing with, and thanks to our friends at Konami, dove into the world of Castlevania. There were of course dozens of updates in between these DLCs, which took your feedback and helped us shape Dead Cells into what you see today. This may be our last major patch, but remember that Dead Cells isn't going away. The game will remain playable, will continue to patch bugs and issues, and the Beheaded will continue to feature outside of the game itself. Finally, we wanted to include a short message from the two teams that brought you Dead Cells over the years. Hi, Matt from Evil Empire here, and I'm very proud to be able to thank you for your support on behalf of the entire studio. Over the past five years, we've poured our heart and soul into every update and DLC that we created for Dead Cells. Yes, even a derelict distillery, but enough talk, go and complete a run for old time's sake, or just die in slumbering sanctuary as you usually do. Just make sure to break some doors for us. Thanks again. Hello, I'm Cardus from Motion Twin. Um, I've been sent by my team to give a big shout out to all the Dead Cells fans out there living through the prisoner. You keep him immortal by playing every run and getting wrecked. Thanks a lot. From the green light to the best action game award in 2018 to now, your feedback has made Dead Cells awesome. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for everything. 